All right, folks, we're on day number four hundred uh, 743. All right, it is Friday, the 8th of April, and I'm continuing with our pursuits. All right, one of the things that we are supposed to pursue when it comes to the Lord. There are 10 of them that he is labeled in the word. And today I want to deal with number four, and that is pursue and pursue righteousness. Pursue righteousness. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. It says, But you, O man of God, flee these youthful things. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. I want to just say to you, right now, I want us to understand what does it mean to pursue righteousness. Righteousness means the right way of doing something. The right way. Now, how do I know what is correct? Because what's right for you is not always right for me. It's very simple. The word of God is our highest authority. All right. So when we say pursue righteousness, we are pursuing the way God intended it to be. What is God's instruction? What is God's way? And so when God gives an instruction, we are expected to obey it, to follow it, and to do what God is calling us to do. And so this morning when we come around the table, I want us to have a heart and say, God, I want to be able to do what you are telling me to do. Now I know that over the last two years, we have given you so much truth. We've given you so much insight into the word. That maybe it's a little bit overwhelming for you. But I want to just ask you today. Why don't you take one thing. Just one thing. And say God I'm going to follow and practice this thing in my life. I'm going to practice it. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do what your word tells me to do. You see when we do that. We are going to see the power of God start working. And we're going to see our lives start change, being changed. And so you're going to start seeing some things happening in your life. And so I want to tell you right now that as we start doing the word of God, we are going to see these things happen. So my advice to you is don't try and, cop, uh, try and do everything. Right? It's just too much to handle. Take one thing and say, God, I'm going to pursue the right way of doing this thing. And whatever that thing may be for you. All right? It may be. The way that you control your anger. It may be your relationships and how you pray for the unsaved. Excuse me, around you. It may be whatever it, it is bugging you. Might be your marriage. And say, God, what is the godly way? What is the right way to do this? And go and pursue that. Pursue it with all your heart and say, God, in this area, I want to be the best that I can according to your word. I want to obey your word. I want to stay in line with your word. I want to see the power of God move in my life. And so this morning, and when we come around the table, I want you please to have this type of approach and say, God, I want the fullness of what you have for me in Jesus' name. I want to pursue righteousness. I want to pursue the right way of doing something. As Paul instructed Timothy, go and pursue righteousness. And there's some other things that he told him to pursue and we'll deal with them as topics. But I want to say right now, there are certain things that Paul thought were important. And one of them is righteousness, doing it the right way, the biblical way. What does the Bible say about it? So as we come around the table today, let us ask God to help us. To get a revelation and an understanding on how to do things correctly in Jesus' name. Lord, we come before you this morning. Lord, we love you with all our heart. And Lord, we thank you for dying on the cross for us and paying the price. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you, taking remnants of me. He took the cup. And he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical, emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so right now, as we take of the elements, let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ is alive. 
that Jesus Christ loves us and that Jesus Christ is working on us. But most of all, that he's given us a manual. He's given us a blueprint so we know what to do correctly. Let's thank God for his word today in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive. I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, I thank you right now that as we come together on this Friday, Lord, I pray that we are not going to neglect what we are meant to do in Jesus' name. And Lord, I ask you right now to help us, Lord, to obey your word. Lord, I pray for an insight into your word that we will really know what to do in every situation. Thank you, Lord, for the handbook. Thank you, Lord, for the blueprint. And Lord, I pray right now that as we come around your table, that we will celebrate the fact that we have the Bible and we have the Holy Spirit to lead us through this life. And Lord, I thank you right now that you're going to stir each one of us to be men and women that pursue righteousness at all costs. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. <clears throat> Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I just release your healing power over our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. <coughs> and Lord, I command every sing single symptom to leave our bodies, every form of sickness to go right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now that we walk in divine health and divine healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I trust that you're ready for this weekend. I trust that you are praying with us, that you are standing together with us, and we are trusting God for a supernatural move within our government. We are trusting God that our leaders will do what God has called them to do. I trust that you are ready for a supernatural move of God within the leadership of this nation. I'm believing God for the supernatural to take place. I thank you for spreading the word. I ask that you keep on spreading the word and getting the word out there about this fast and that for the next three days, we are going to fast, we are going to pray, we are going to seek God and we are going to see God do something supernatural and miraculous for our nation in Jesus' name. And so right now, I want to encourage you. Saints, don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let the devil come and bring you into a place of bondage to say that the church does not have power. But I want to tell you right now, the church of Jesus Christ has got power. We've got anointing. We've got authority. And we are going to use it. So please join us on these three feeds every day and stand in agreement. Stand with a fervency and say, God, I'm going to stand. I'm going to believe you. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to stand together in faith with my brothers and sisters. And we're going to believe God for a supernatural move in our leadership in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, I want to just remind everybody that straight after this feed, I'm on an airplane to Johannesburg. I'm going to be in Germany tonight. So please get ready. If you haven't booked yet, please, you've still got time. Come and join us. Come and get yourself activated. Get yourself on fire for God and get ready for what God has for you in Jesus' mighty name. And so I want to encourage you that as we come and get ourselves, get the impartation that we need. Okay, I'm bringing up a team and we're going to minister to you. And I know that God is going to touch you. All right. And then tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, we are going to be dealing with small fellowship groups. If you want to become part of a, fourth, a small fellowship group, please come and join us. All right. Go to fathersart.co.za and go and register there because I will be there in the next few hours in Johannesburg. And so I'm really excited about the body of Christ. You know me. I love being where the people are. All right, I want to just get there. I want to just pray with each other. I want to just meet each other. And every now and then we eat the marshmallow together. Amen. All right, so I want to just say that it's really exciting. And then I want to remind you that we've got our fire conference coming up next month. 
Right, so our camp is in Cape Town. So I want you to get ready for that. And we're going to be moving to Cape Town and staying there for a few days in Wellington. So please go and book also on fathersart.co.za. So let's pray. Lord, right now, we thank you for this wonderful day. And Lord, right now, we pray for our government. Lord, as we are standing in agreement across this nation, Father, I pray that you're going to do something supernatural in amongst the leadership of our government. And Lord, that they will do what you're telling them to do in Jesus' name. Father, I release the anointing. I release the power. I release the destiny and purpose upon our nation in Jesus' name. Father, I pray your blessing upon each of the leaders. And Lord, that they will be obedient and they will do what you're telling them to do in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, right now, we pray for every business. And Lord, I pray that every business will prosper and be absolutely supernaturally blessed. Lord, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural across this nation. And Lord, that every business will prosper because the saints are praying. And Lord, we call for supernatural divine connections, supernatural deals, supernatural um, contracts. Lord, I thank you that every business will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we come against COVID virus. We command it to die, dissipate, and leave our nation once and for all. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, right now, I thank you for a move of God across our nation. Saints, I want to remind you, if you have not yet put your objection in to the regulations on the South Pole, please do it as soon as possible. In Jesus' name. And before we go, I want to tell you one thing. It's Friday. I trust that you're going to have an awesome weekend. As we seek God, as we pray together, I want to tell you right now, when the body of Christ pray, God is going to do something in this nation. But in between, I want you to have a wonderful rest, a wonderful time. Just catch us for those five minutes. If we could get the nation together to pray, I'm telling you, we are going to see a change. And then I want to remind you, it's Friday. So what does Friday mean? Revelation Day. All right, tonight I'm going to be dealing with the three angels. And so I want you to get ready with that. And so tonight we're going to start with the three angels. And uh, we're getting into the book of Revelation. We're already on chapter 14. But I want to encourage you to be part of this thing. And tonight is going to be awesome. There's some real good truth you're going to learn tonight. Amen. All right. So I want you to get ready. 7 o'clock tonight. Remember tomorrow morning. I'll be live with communion from a guest house somewhere. And... Uh, and I will make sure that I come live. All right, let's do our declaration together. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to say I commend you. I bless you today. And go out and release the word of God. Release peace wherever you go.